Hi everyone, my name is Melissa and I am our Assistant Director of Admissions here at the Nicholas School working with our professional master students for the Master of Environmental Management and our Master of Forestry. And today we are talking about choosing a program area within the Master of Environmental Management. And when we think about how we approach those seven different program areas for that on-campus Master of Environmental Management program, the way that I have learned to approach it and talk about it with students is to think of your program area as the lens through which you are approaching this work. And so that lens may be through one of our program areas like business and environment if you are hoping to combat climate change through corporate sustainability and private industry. You may be you know, really interested in policy work specifically in ocean environments or community-based environmental management through um, marine and coastal environments. And you could approach that from, say, fully going into that deep dive through coastal environmental management and then having that focus on policy in addition to the natural science and social science foundations that you're going to receive in the coastal program. But you may instead choose to to take it through the policy track of our environmental economics and policy program and have EEP be your focus and your program with a focus on marine environments. And so it's thinking about what's going to be the big picture and the big lens through which you approach your work and then thinking about what that smaller specialization would be. In the MEM, you develop a foundation regardless of your program area, you're going to have a foundation in communications, natural science, and social science. And you're going to develop the skills and tools to be able to take that content knowledge and put it into practice. And through that, you'll have the ability to design your program area and your coursework around your interests within your program. And so being able to think about which program area best fits the kind of work that you want to be doing down the line is something that can be helpful in terms of picking a program area. It's also important to pay attention to the different kinds of prerequisites that might apply for one program area versus another. And you'll find information about that on our website in the different program area pages, as well as an overview of prerequisites in our statement of prerequisite coursework, which is linked from the admission section of our website. Stay tuned for a whole separate video on prerequisites. We'll have that coming up too. And so in terms of thinking about your program area, this is also where connecting with current students, recent alumni, faculty members, us as admissions folks, um, we can help you kind of tease out what those things may be. And there are some possibilities for shifting if you find that the program area you've chosen just isn't quite what you were hoping it would be and you found a different thing that might fit better. Um, that can still happen, um, you know, right up before orientation in your first term. Um, keep in mind that some programs are easier to switch out of than into. And that's where those conversations with faculty and program chairs and um, current students, as well as with your admissions team will be really helpful. Uh, so we look forward to continuing the conversation with you about what the Nicholas School um, could bring to your professional and personal development. And we look forward to hearing from you through your application and by joining one of our upcoming virtual sessions. Um, so thanks so much.